If you have been following the news for a while now, you may have heard that NASA and Elon Musk are planning a manned visit to the Red Planet. However, even the best of plans can go awry, and a recent discovery on Mars might just be the thing to disrupt it all. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about the terrifying discovery that could change everything that Elon Musk and NASA had planned for Mars. So, let us begin. According to a tweet in March, Elon Musk hinted that a crewed mission to Mars could happen in 2029. Musk's dream is to one day travel to the Red Planet. According to his 2016 statement, he plans to construct a rocket that can carry humans to Mars and sustain a long-term settlement there. In front of an audience of over 100,000 people at the International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara, Mexico, he declared, It's something we can do in our lives. However, Musk's previous forecasts have not always been accurate. In 2016, he predicted that in around 10 years, maybe sooner, maybe 9 years, it will be able to land a significant number of humans on Mars. Well, it seems that this might just be the first in a long line of delays. The Perseverance rover, operated by NASA, is deep into its second science mission, during which it is collecting rock core samples from features in an area that has long been considered a top potential for uncovering indications of ancient microbial life on Mars. Since July 7th, the rover has taken four more rock samples from an old river delta in Mars's Jezero crater. This brings the total number of scientifically compelling rock samples collected by the rover to 12. NASA's Associate Administrator for Science in Washington, Thomas Zerbukin, said, We picked the Jezero Crater for Perseverance to investigate because we thought it had the highest possibility of producing scientifically outstanding material, and now we know we sent the rover to the proper site. To quote the Mars Sample Return Campaign, the first two science campaigns have provided an incredible array of samples to bring back to Earth. Located in Jezero Crater, which is 28 miles 45 kilometers in diameter, is an ancient delta that developed around 3.5 billion years ago at the confluence of a Martian river and lake, creating a fan-shaped structure. The sedimentary rocks of the delta are currently being studied by the intrepid explorer. These rocks were formed when sediments of varying sites settled in an ancient body of water. Igneous rock, which originates underground from magma or during volcanic activity on the surface, was discovered by the rover during its first science campaign. Scientist Ken Farley of Caltech in Pasadena, California, working on the Perseverance project, remarked, The delta, with its various sedimentary rocks, contrasts nicely with the volcanic rocks produced from the crystallization of magma revealed on the crater floor. This juxtaposition gives us a wide set of samples and a deep understanding of the geologic history after the crater's formation. To give just two examples, we discovered a sandstone that contains grains and rock fragments formed far from Jezero Crater, as well as a mudstone that contains fascinating organic compounds. A rock measuring about 3 feet, 1 meter in width is known as Wildcat Ridge. It was most likely shaped billions of years ago when mud and fine sand settled in an evaporating saltwater lake, hence the rock's name. The instrument Sherlock, scanning habitable environments with ramen and luminescence for organics and chemicals, was able to examine the area since the rover abraded some of the surfaces of Wildcat Ridge on July 20th. Sherlock's study shows that the samples contain a type of organic molecule whose distributions are associated with those of sulfate minerals. Information on the water conditions that led to the formation of sulfate minerals and sedimentary rock strata is invaluable. Now, the Jezero crater wasn't the only one where such discoveries were made. Another rover named Curiosity was also sent to Mars, and samples were taken from 3 billion year old mudstone in the Gale crater to show the presence of organic matter. In addition to that, the rover has also detected methane. In the Gale crater, where Curiosity landed in 2012, the rover took samples by digging down 5 centimeters into the ground. Named after Australian astronomer Walter F. Gale, the 96-mile crater was likely created from a meteor impact between 3.5 and 3.8 billion years ago. They have confirmed there was a lake there once, at the same time that life was starting on Earth. To analyze the organic compounds released into the air, the rover heated the samples to temperatures between 932 and 1508 degrees Fahrenheit. 500 and 820 degrees Celsius, respectively, and performed gas chromatography. Theophene, methyltheophene, methanethiol, and dimethyl sulfide were among the organic compounds and volatiles found, all of which are analogous to organic-rich sedimentary rock samples found on Earth. Researchers think they are pieces of larger molecules that were present on Mars billions of years ago, but they certainly don't sound like something you'd want to say out loud. 
So, why is the discovery of organic matter so important? Well, let us explain. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen combine to form a diverse range of chemicals that make up organic molecules. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur are a few examples of additional elements that may be present. Some of these chemicals are the chemical building blocks of life, whereas others can be produced through non-living chemical processes. These compounds are being studied as potential biosignatures because their presence may indicate there was life in the past. Perseverance had previously detected organic material in Jezero Crater, and NASA's Curiosity Mars rover found signs of organic materials in rock powder samples in 2013. This latest detection, however, was made in a region where a lake was formed in the distant past from sediment and salts, creating an environment in which life might have flourished. The Sherlock device found the highest concentration of organic compounds in its examination of Wildcat Ridge. The Wildcat Ridge sample is made up of sand, mud, and salts that were originally deposited at a time and place where life might have flourished. Finding organic material in a sedimentary rock well known for preserving fossils of Earth's prehistoric life is significant. Though Perseverance's instruments are impressive, scientists won't know for sure what's in the Wildcat Ridge sample until it's brought back to Earth and analyzed in greater detail as part of NASA's Mars sample return effort. In September 2021, the first rock sample was cored by the Perseverance rover, marking the beginning of the NASA and ESA European Space Agency Mars sample return campaign. There are also one air sample and two witness tubes in the rover's belly in addition to the rock core samples it has collected. The geological variety of the rover's onboard samples is so impressive that the rover crew is considering depositing a few tubes at the Delta's base in around two months. The rover will return to its exploration of the Delta region after dropping off the cache. Strong implications concerning the possibility of life in Mars and its past are suggested by the detection of this organic molecule in the atmosphere, in addition to the detection of organic molecules in the soil. Based on Curiosity's findings, the Gale Crater was likely habitable 3.5 billion years ago. Then it would have been about as habitable as Earth. Even here on Earth, life was progressing throughout this time. The discovery of these chemicals and compounds lends credence to the theory that life once flourished on Mars, and suggests that further exploration by the Martian rovers will yield additional answers about the Red Planet's history. Only time will tell what other things are waiting for us on Mars, but these discoveries are enough to give pause to people at NASA and Elon Musk, as the prediction of life on Mars could mean that preparations would have to start anew, and that we would have to accept the fact that our understanding of our neighboring planet is cursory at best. So this is all the time we had today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. Till then, see you next time.